Welcome everybody to Pure English Practice with ColorVal. I'm Karen Taylor of the Color Vowel Chart. We come together every first and third Thursday. What color is all of that? Let's see. Yeah, purple shirt. So purple shirt Thursday, first and third Thursday. We come together to enjoy English, to speak English, and to play with English in this way that becomes very musical. Do what I do, try that. Do what I do. I love seeing all those hands. Now do it with me at the same time. Here we go, ready? Do what I do, do what I do. Fast or slow, do what I do. Do what I do, what I do, what I do. Do what I do, what I do, what I do. Stop, good job. So if you're doing what I'm doing, then you're right on track. Use your body in the same way, use your voice in the same way. If I'm moving from side to side, maybe I'll see you do the same. We have lots of teachers in the room. Raise your hand if you're a teacher. Hi teachers, excellent. Raise your hand if you're a learner. Hello learners, great. Raise your hand if you're a teacher who's also a learner, meaning we're all learners, right? Good job. Okay, so we have lots of folks, um, young and old, all over the world. We're ready to start our peer practice. I'm going to start by collecting a couple of names from the room that I see. So, um, and these are going to be names that I don't know yet. For example, I know Jennifer. Jennifer's, you know, every day with me. So I know that she's Red Pepper Jennifer. I know that I can pull out this card and that this is her name, right? But what about, mm, let's take Nahum, N A H U M. Hi, how are you? I want to hear your name. Hi, my name is Naum. 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 Great. Naum. So is it Naum? Naum, yeah. Naum. And so what color do we think his name is, everybody? Go ahead in the chat. If you hear Naum, what color do you hear? Naum. Ah, Mark's holding it up. If you have a card. Blue moon. Blue moon. Blue moon. Right, because the sound in the word blue and moon is oo, and that's the closest sound we have in English. Naum. Everybody say Naum. Excellent. Naum. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Jiaming. Hello. <laughs> Jiaming. Uh, can you say your name for us out loud? Uh, Jiaming. Jiaming. So is it Jia? In English, we have to find one syllable that's the big colorful syllable. So you're going to choose. Is it Jiaming or Jiaming? Um, I would prefer Jiaming. It Which one better. is that? <laughs> Can you show me? Is it? Aha, so we're going to do Jiaming. And that I'm hearing, I'm hearing silver. Does it sound silver to you? Yeah. Or does it sound green to you? Maybe it sounds green. It's more like silver pin to me. Silver ping. Okay. So we have silver pin Jiaming. Excellent, everybody. Thank you. So we have blue moon Naum and silver pin jamming. There we go, thank you. I was looking somewhere else. And then my last one, I have three here. Let's pick one more. Um, how about Yumiko, hello. Hi, can you say your name for us? Yumiko. Great, Yumiko. Are, are you from Japan? Yes. Great. And so I think in Japan, Japanese, it's Yumiko. But right. in English, we have to pick one syllable. So is it Yumiko, Yumiko, or oh. Yumiko? <laughs> Yumiko. Yumiko. Yeah. Yumiko. Good. Yumiko, so yeah. If you change your mind later, it's okay. But for now, it's green mm -hmm. tea, Yumiko. Okay. So we have okay. Yumiko, we have Jiaming, and we have Blue Moon Naum. All right. We're going to get started with our first chant. Keep the beat like that. Hi, my name is. 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 Hi. Hi, my name is. 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 Hi. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. We're changing. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. 
Hi, my name is normal. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name again? Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name? Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name? Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name again? Hi, my name is hi, my name is hi, my name is hi. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is hi, my name is hi, my name is hi. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Ready? Hi, my name's Naum. Hi, my name's Naum. Hi, my name's Naum. What's your name? Hi, my name is Jaming. Hi, my name is Jaming. Hi, my name is Jaming. What's your name? Hi, my name's Yumiko. Hi, my name's Yumiko. Hi, my name's Yumiko. What's your name? Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name? You go. Hi, my name is. What's your name? Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name? You go. Hi, my name is. What's your name? One more. Hi, my name is Karen. What's your name? Your turn. Hi, my name is. What's your name? And hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Karen, and that's my name. I'm done. Thank you so much. That was great, everybody. A little visual applause. Well done. So um, how many of you are new to Colorvel? Can you give me a raise of hands or say yes in the chat? Say yes, 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 if you're new to these Colorvels, if you've never seen these before. Great. Okay, so we're going to do a, a brief introduction to color vowel in a way that is still interesting to everybody who knows color vowel already. We use color vowels to organize the way we hear English. That's pretty exciting because we didn't have a way to do that for a long time. Can everybody see this black and white chart? Yeah? Yes. Great. Okay, so we're gonna keep our mutes on please. And I see lots of hands and lots of questions, but we'll get to those at the end, okay? Uh, watch the image that comes, for example, green T. This is the symbol for the E sound. And we're going to use some everyday words to explore this. I'm going to use some rhythm, so just stick with me. It's just like everything else. We just keep going. Here we go. Teacher, teacher, green T, teacher. Listen, listen. Silver pin, listen. Paper, paper. Gray day, paper. Pencil, pencil. Red pepper, pencil. Classroom, classroom. Black cat, classroom. Clock, clock. Olive sock, clock. Hallway, hallway. Auburn dog, hallway. Noisy, noisy, turquoise toy, noisy. Courses, courses, orange door, courses. Notebook, notebook, rose boat, notebook. Books, books, wooden hook, books. Students, students, blue moon, students. Study, study, a cup of mustard, study. Learning, learning, purple shirt, learning. Sit down, sit down, brown cow, sit down. And quiet, quiet, white tie, quiet. So you heard some familiar words and you now know the color vowel symbols. We use this in all of our teaching with color vowel to teach English pronunciation. We also use these in our app, Blue Canoe. I have another chant for you. This is one that came up last week when I was trying to make a plan with a friend, but we didn't have a common time. And so she said, well, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, now that wasn't all she said. She said, whenever you'd like to meet, just let me know. So try whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, 
whenever you'd like to meet, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to meet, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, one more, whenever you'd like to meet, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, I'd like another verb. Whenever you'd like to what, just let me know. Give me a few ideas in the chat. Whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to, whenever you'd like to go, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to go, here go, just let me know. Here we go. Whenever you'd like to go, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to go, just let me know. Sing. Whenever you'd like to sing, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to sing, just let me know. Study. Whenever you'd like to study, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to study, just let me know. Walk. Whenever you'd like to walk, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to walk, just let me know. Talk. Whenever you'd like to talk, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to talk, just let me know. Whenever you'd like to, 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 whenever you'd like to. Nicely done. This one I wrote a few weeks ago, you know, it's about the pandemic. I was thinking about the past and it got me thinking about the many things that have changed in this time, what we used to do. What does that look like? Does it have a D or does it not have a D? Is it used to or used to? Hmm, teachers and students can discuss that in the chat, but let's do this right now. Used to, used to, used to, used to. We used to, we used to, we used to, we used to, we used to go, we used to go, we used to go, we used to go, but we don't anymore, we don't anymore, we don't anymore, we don't anymore, we used to go, but we don't anymore, we used to go, but we don't anymore, we used to go, but we don't anymore. We used to go. We used to go. We used to go out, but we don't anymore. We used to go out, but we don't anymore. We used to go out, but we don't anymore. We used to. We used to. We used to go to the movies, but we don't anymore. We used to go to the movies, but we don't anymore. We used to go to the movies, but we don't anymore. We used to. We used to. We used to go out to dinner, but we don't anymore. We used to go out to dinner, but we don't anymore. We used to go out to dinner, but we don't anymore. We used to. We used to. We used to go dancing, but we don't anymore. We used to go dancing, but we don't anymore. We used to go dancing, but we don't anymore. Mm, we used to. We used to. We used to go to the movies, but we don't anymore. We used to go to the movies, but we don't anymore. We used to go to the movies, but we don't anymore. We used to. We used to. Dinner. We used to go to dinner, but we don't anymore. We used to go out to dinner, but we don't anymore. We used to go out to dinner, but we don't anymore. We used to. We used to. We used to go dancing, but we don't anymore. We used to go dancing, but we don't anymore. We used to go dancing, but we don't anymore. We used to, we used to, used to, used to, used to, used to, we used to. How's the sound for everybody out there? Thumbs up if it's okay. Sometimes the video could be a little laggy. How are you doing with following? Are you doing it with me? <laughs> This is the strange part is that you want to try to speak with me, or if you want to listen, you can also just listen, whatever's working for you. How many of you have Blue Canoe? I'd like to know that. Blue Canoe is our ColorVal app. It has voice recognition and machine learning, and it has some pretty neat features. 
Here, I'm going to do a chant with you with Blue Canoe so you can start to see what it looks like. So here we go. It has me playing a lesson called Understanding. So here we go. And here's my first sentence. I'll put it up here, okay? So here's how it goes. Let's practice. I apologize for the confusion. That's a great sentence. We need it all the time. So I apologize for the confusion. It's great to open your hand on those stressed beats, the ones that last longer in time on the vowel. I apologize for the confusion. Let's make this into a chant. Here we go. I apologize for the confusion. 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 Whew, that was four times. That felt pretty good. Now let's add the first word, apologize. Here we go. Olive sock, apologize. I apologize for the confusion. 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 Let's do the second word. Here we go. Blue moon confusion. I apologize for the confusion. 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 Now, I don't know if it's happened to you yet, but I feel like the whole sentence has become a song. I apologize for the confusion. I apologize for the confusion. I apologize for the confusion. When I recorded that long ago, I was just saying it. Isn't that crazy? So we're using repetition to notice the deeper aspects of speech without thinking about the details. And so when it turns into music, you know you're on the right track. Let's do it one more time. I apologize, I apologize for the confusion. confusion. I'll go ahead and record. I apologize for the confusion. Let's see what happens. Bingo! Nice high score, huh? So this is what you can do with Blue Canoe. You don't just have to use it the simple way, but you can actually play music with it and make music for yourselves. I'm curious, I have a little um, scavenger hunt just to keep us active because we're getting toward the end of our workout, but it's nice to have a change. Go into your kitchen and find a fork, a knife, and a spoon, please. A fork, a knife, and a spoon. Or send, you know, if you have a kid in the room, <laughs> tell them to go get it. That works too. All right. So if you joined me two weeks ago when we had our first Thursday of March, this is the third Thursday of March, our first Thursday, we did a chant called This Is A. This Is A. And I think we had a, a pen and a book and a phone. And the chant was, this is a pen, this is a book, this is a phone. So we're going to try it again, but with these three things, right? <laughs> Fork. Fork orange door fork 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 orange door fork knife knife white tie knife 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 white tie knife now stop because it's going to get crazy I can't keep holding cards and these implements. So I'm going to switch over to just holding this. Ready? Spoon. Spoon. Blue moon spoon. 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 Blue moon spoon. This is a fork. This is a fork. This is a fork. This is a fork. This is a knife. This is a knife. This is a knife. This is a knife. This is a spoon. This is a spoon. This is a spoon. This is a spoon. You ready? This is a fork. This is a knife. This is a spoon. This is a fork. This is a knife. This is a spoon. This is a fork. This is a knife. This is a fork. This is a knife. This is a fork. This is a knife. This is a spoon. You ready for that again? I know it's a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing great. Okay, here we go. 
This is a fork, this is a knife, this is a spoon. This is a fork, this is a knife, this is a spoon. This is a fork, this is a knife, this is a fork, this is a knife, this is a fork, this is a this is a spoon. This is a 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 and stop. Why are we spending time with all these things? Do we really need to say these? How often do you say this is a spoon to, or this is a knife to somebody? But the reason I have these out is because this is a, is such a useful phrase, right? Uh, this is a what? Can I have 10 ideas in the chat? This is a, when would we really say that? This is a, this is a great way to learn English. <laughs> this is a widget. This is a class. This is a beautiful day. This is a form you need to fill out. Oh, I love that one. Let's try that just briefly. This is a form you need to fill out. This is a form you need to fill out. This is a form you need to fill out. Get a pen now. <laughs> oh, this is a pen. This is my mom. I love it. Good. Lots of great answers there in the chat. Thank you, everybody. Good. Yeah, we're going to finish up with a real song. And this is a folk song. It's focusing on, on the L sound. Raise your hand if you've ever struggled with the L sound. L. Yeah. If you, um, you know, there's la la la. Go ahead and say that one. La la la. That's the light L. And then there's this other one called the dark L. And the dark L is at the ends of syllables like fall or fill, right? And it's a vowel sound. And we'll learn more about that another time. But for now, we have a song to enjoy uh, the word little. Everybody say little, little, good. Little, 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 little light, little light. Little light, little light, little light, little light, little light, little light. This little light, this little light, this little light, this little light, this little light of mine, 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 this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Back to little now, little, 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 little. Little, little light, 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 little light. This little light, this little light, this little light, this little light, this little light of mine, this little light of mine. This little light of mine, this little light of mine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine and back to little, little light, 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 little, 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 little. Good job, everybody. Hey, so we have all kinds of great news. 
One is that we now have a way for you to subscribe so that you don't have to register for future Thursdays. And so I'm going to give you a code right now so that you can visit our learners page. On our website, you can now sign up. So whether you use the scan code here or just go to colorvel.com slash learners, teachers too, just go to learners and you'll find the subscription form so that you will just get the link to the room. Who's happy about that? Anybody? <laughs> is that better, easier? Yeah. Our next session is on April 1st, rather at 10 p.m. So uh, check that out. It's here in the United States, that's called April Fool's Day, but we're not joking. We really will come together on April 1st for this class, okay? We do have this new YouTube page. So this recording today, um, assuming that it's you know a good enough recording, we're going to post it over on our brand new YouTube page. And I'm happy to show you what that looks like. We're really thrilled about it. I wanna thank Laura McIndoo for helping me out with that today to get that launched. So here is our new Pure English Practice um, YouTube page, right? And you can go here and you can see a lot of um, some of the videos that we've done here today. Um, I want to thank now uh, Yuki here because she's going to show you exactly what she does with pure practice at home. Thank you now. <laughs> um, and so we'll be adding to this over time, but it's a channel for learners like all of us, not just English learners in the classroom, but all of us who love English and learning about it or doing it. Okay. This is a brain-based method. If this was strange for you, that's okay. But we come here to do English instead of all of the study that we always do. So take a break from study. Come and join us again next time for pure English practice. So opening up for questions. Yes. Karen, one, one uh, learner asked, um, I can pronounce the first L of little, but how do I pronounce the last L? Good. Yeah, so we'll have lots of ways to go about it, but one way is to think of this as your mouth and your tongue. This, this is where your teeth are in the front of the mouth. And so if your tongue is here for la, 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 la of the beginning, la, it's coming back for the, the second L. So it's la, la, little. And back here, you pull your tongue back quite a ways. The closest sound we have that I can think of is right now is Auburn. If you make the all sound, all, all, little, little. And that's similar to that dark L sound. So it's very much like a vowel. If you pull your tongue back in, in the back of the mouth, you're getting close to it. But don't close your lips. Otherwise it sounds like little. And then it starts to sound like window, something like that. So little, all, all, all. I can feel it here, all. It's not easy to do it with just me explaining. We you work with somebody who can guide you, but that's the beginning of knowing about dark L. And uh, teachers, please chime in over in the chat if you have other tips, okay? Thank you. Another person asked about the letter or the sound T, the consonant T. Oh boy. Well, the letter T can sound a bunch of different ways, actually. It's kind of surprising, right? So there's the T of T. <laughs> We call that T. We have the, the T of little. When it's between two vowel sounds, it sounds like a ra, 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 like a D almost, little. If you speak Spanish and you say something, a word like caro or pero, it's that sound, the R, so little. Huh? Sometimes it's stopped, like can't, can't. So there's no T at the end for North American English. So just know that you're, you don't want to rely on it sounding just one way. It actually has about four different ways of behaving, if not more. Sometimes it drops all together, like international. And it depends on accent. So if I were British, I would have you know, different ways of treating the letter T in all of these. And usually I pronounce them more in British English, like cunt or little, okay? So many good questions. Um, one person is asking if the vowel sound in the word fork is that orange or is that rose? Oh, that's a beautiful question. Um, the answer is yes. Isn't that a great, great answer? So here's O, O, and watch my mouth, O. For some people, if they say fork, 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 you can kind of see some movement up to O before the irk. Other people are more comfortable saying uh, orange door fork. They're both correct. And in Blue Canoe, we actually write it as being a rose word. 
Hey, come on out. Here we go. Take a look on the chart for a sec. What's happening is we have four from o o o to er, the purple sound, or you can go fork, fork, or some people just imagine the, the W disappearing and they just go fork, but either one is correct. So whichever one works for you. One more question. One of the most variable words in English, W-A-T-E-R. Ah. You mean water? Water. Or water, right? Or water. That's great. So we'll use the chart for this one. Um, a lot of times words can have a few different pronunciations and they may sound really different, but in fact, they usually cluster around a particular area. So water, water, what color do we hear? Wa, ah, 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 ah. In this one, it's water is olive sock. And that's my accent of English. That's just one accent, but olive sock water is a very common way to say it. But in some parts of the United States and North America, it moves up to here, water, water, must, cup of mustard water, Okay, what else could it be? Water, water. Some people use even water, water, water. water with a wooden hook, water. Uh, but I use olive, and in Blue Canoe, we use olive. Okay, uh, any other colors we need to mention for water? Water, water. I suppose it could become Auburn in a British dialect. Okay, but notice how it's all connected here. Right, it's on the back part of the mouth. And this, again, this is the mouth shape. And we sometimes we'll get back to that in another Thursday. Okay, but it's a very handy way to talk about words, isn't it? Any final question, Jennifer? I think, okay. I think we could say that's a wrap. That's a wrap, everybody. Check out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. It's brand new and it has, I think, zero subscribers because we launched it today. So go find that YouTube channel from our learner page. Um, you'll find a link to it there on the learner page. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great day, a gray day, great day, or a fabulous white tie night. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.